Hi everybody, my name is Christian and welcome to another episode. Today I'm going to show you how to get your phone unlocked. This will work for any brand including Samsung, LG, Motorola, Huawei or any other. If you're new to the channel, welcome on board. We upload a lot of tech videos in the channel. We've been doing it for many years, so welcome on board. By the way, we're almost hitting 2 million subscribers on YouTube, so that's amazing. Thank you guys for so much support. So I'm going to show you how to get your phone unlocked. First off, it's important to distinguish between a passcode unlock and a network unlock. The passcode unlock is if you forgot the password or the passcode of your phone and you cannot access it again. We will not cover that in this video. I have made multiple videos in the past, which I will add a link in the description down below. Today, we're going to focus on the network unlock. This video is going to show you how to get your phone SIM card network unlocked to use it with any carrier anywhere in the world. So if you travel or if you switch providers, you're going to simply be able to insert a SIM card and your phone will be compatible with that SIM card, as long as it's a GSM SIM card. There are different ways to get a phone unlocked. You can take it to a phone shop, you can take it to your supplier, or you can do it yourself at home using this tool. In my opinion, it's the best tool. However, it's not free, so we will have to pay something. But I'm going to show you the way to unlock it and you can later decide if you want to do it or not. By the way, it is important to mention that your phone must not be reported as lost or stolen by the previous owner. Otherwise, the unlock will not work. So I'm going to grab my Samsung Galaxy. Feel free to follow along with any brand. So grab your phone. And the first thing we're going to have to do is to get the IMEI number of the smartphone. To do that, simply dial star hash zero six hash. As you will see, the 15 digit number will show up in the screen. This number is very important. This is a unique number. Sometimes it's also behind the box or in the settings on your phone. Based on this number, we will unlock your phone. So now we're going to switch screens and we're going to proceed to a website. I'm going to include a link in the description of this video. So we're going to go to the website unlockweaver.com. So the first thing is to select the original carrier in which your phone is locked to. For example, my phone is locked to United States AT&T. Here's where I bought it. Then we're going to select the brand, select your brand of the phone that you are trying to unlock, and then write down the exact model. In this case, we're going to be unlocking a Samsung Galaxy S21. As you can see, in some cases, you have multiple services. Some are faster, some are a little bit slower, and the price will also depend on the delivery time. The next step is to write down your original IMEI number. Here is where we're going to write down the 15 digit number we got a few seconds ago. Make sure it is 100% correct. This is very important. Later, you're going to have to write down your email because you're going to be notified in this email once your unlock has been completed. Additionally, you can also request phone notifications to update you on the current status of your unlock. But I'm going to skip this step for now and I'm going to scroll down and as you can see, you will get the average delivery time to get your phone unlocked and the price. The price and the delivery time will always vary depending on your phone's brand, carrier and model. Keep in mind that these are business days, meaning that weekends are not included. All right, so we're going to hit unlock now. On the following page, you're going to see a screen that represents the summary of your order. Here's where you can have a deeper overview on how the unlock works. So make sure you read all the information here, make sure everything is correct and make sure in fact that your phone is actually not unlocked already. Again, this is exactly the same procedure for any other brand. Now we're going to scroll down and at the bottom, we're going to place the order and I'm going to come back once my order has been placed. Now, after placing your order, you have to wait until your phone gets remotely unlocked. Like I said before, the waiting time will depend on your phone's carrier, brand and model, but you will receive an email notification once your unlock has been successfully completed. Sometimes the email might go to the spam folder, so just double check and make sure it is not there. So after you have received the email notification that your phone has been unlocked, we are going to activate it. And for that, there are a few methods. And it is recommended not to leave a lot of time between receiving the email and activating the unlock. Alright, so grab your phone, make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi, and we're going to power off the device and insert a SIM card. It can be any GSM SIM card. Ideally, it should be different than the original carrier, just to test if the unlock works. For iPhone users, you simply need to connect your device to Wi-Fi or to your computer and the unlock should be activated. For Android users, I'm going to show you these two methods. So when you power on your device, the first thing you're going to see with the new SIM card is this message requiring an unlock code to unlock the network of the phone. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to insert the code and then it's going to be accepted. And that means that the phone was successfully unlocked. Now, if your phone didn't require an unlock code, it's because of two things. The first one is that your phone might already be unlocked. Or the second one is that you have an unlock application pre-installed on your phone. So in many phones, especially in the United States, all you have to do is to open this application, request the unlock and activate it. 
So the unlock should work after you have received the confirmation that your phone has been successfully unlocked. So that's all for today, guys. This is how you get any phone unlocked. If you have any questions, please just leave them on the comment section down below and I will try to answer them as quick as possible. Thank you so much. My name is Christian and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.